What's up, guys? It's your boy, Kingdom. Uh, I think it was like three years ago, I was in a basketball tournament at my church, and I was, you know, the executive pastor at the time, and my team made it all the way to the finals. Nobody expected this, um, and I was the worst player on my team. I mean, I consider myself a good basketball player. Um, after 10 years of not dunking, I was able to dunk uh, around that time, and um, our team was doing pretty good, and the other team was a lot better than us, and my guy specifically that was guarding me, he was just, he was better than me. So I didn't shoot that much, but I decided to be more aggressive. You know, one of my teammates that played for Western Washington University um, and can jump out the building, he, he was like, you know, you need to be more aggressive. And I was like, okay. So on a play, I went up, did a pump fake. The guy jumped past me. I went under and I laid it up. And my team, we got excited. We went crazy. And then all of a sudden, a whistle comes out from one of our volunteer refs. And I was like, I'm like, did I, I didn't get fouled. Like, why are you whistling? And he was like, and he called a travel and I lost it. I mean, I lost it. And I didn't, I didn't think about the fact that all these kids were in the gym. And I didn't think about the fact that all these people were around me that looked up to me, that saw me as an example and were like, what the heck is wrong with pastor Hogan? Like this dude's stripping, you know? And I was just, and I, I lost it. I was pissed. And for the rest of the game, me and my teammates, we all, we were so dejected and frustrated that we ended up losing the game. Like we, we couldn't play anymore. We were just like, and then they asked me if I wanted to help present the trophy to the winning team. I was like, no, I don't even want to be a part of that. Nope. You get somebody else to do it. I mean, I was so mad and I stayed in that anger for a long time. Um, this quote from Ninja, this tweet, I'll say, cause it's a very long, but this tweet from Ninja today, I actually overlooked it when it first came on my timeline, because the moment I read the phrase, it's just a game, such a weak mindset. I was like, okay, so you're playing, I don't have context. You're playing in a game and you had a teammate who probably said it's just a game and you wanted to slap him <laughs> you know what i'm saying like especially when when you're angry yourself and someone else on your team tries to make it sound like hey why are you so angry it's just a game dude why are you getting so upset like there's nothing more frustrating like if in that moment when people were trying to tell me to calm down when i was playing in that basketball game i was just like man whatever man just 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 leave me alone, man. Whatever, whatever, whack ref. You know, this is like a volunteer ref. I had organized the basketball tournament. Um, I think this is being taken so far out of context. And now what's happened is it's turned into an argument on my timeline. So now I'm like, okay, well, let me look into this tweet and see what he said. And I'm just going to tell you guys outright, the bottom of this tweet, I love it. There's always something to learn. There's always room for improvement. Never settle. One of the goats, uh, Rambo, always, you know, winning is teaching losing is learning i've ran with that i've preached about it i've shared it with people i've shared it with young people winning is teaching losing is learning you better learn how to lose if you want to win and you can't be a sore loser but you also got to be careful about being an angry loser because this middle statement he has when you stop getting angry after losing you've lost twice i don't get it i, I just i don't see any positive in that statement and uh, you know Anger after losing is what got a gaming event shot up a few years ago. Anger after losing is what has people by the thousands get shot in our country every year. Like, I just, I, that sentiment, I do not agree with. And then the beginning of the tweet, the phrase, it's just a game, is such a weak mindset. It's a phrase, not a mindset, bro. Like, this is where, and the problem is, is that people are taking this, and then anybody that responds like I'm responding, a father of three boys that would never want them to think like this. Anybody that responds how I'm responding is soft and weak and I'm a wussy and I'm a sissy because I don't think that anger is a good way to respond when losing. Now, I understand being angry after losing. I do it all the time. When I'm streaming, sometimes I got to remind myself to calm down after I lose. Like the literally my stream last night, one of my teammates left me by myself and I ran off and I killed like three players on a team. I was playing battle Royale um, and I killed three players on the team. And because there was no one with me, it was like, I didn't, I got mopped up by another team and I just ended up dying and I was frustrated and I had to calm down. Like oh, it's just a game. And I literally probably told myself that in my head, it's just a game. I'm not playing competitively. I'm not playing for money. Now here's the thing. If you're competing 
and someone says it's just a game, the next line you might want to say is it's just a roster trade because we don't, uh uh-uh, no, we don't talk like that. And that's because you are angry, and that makes sense. The people that are responding saying they don't understand and, you know, like uh, even Krim said something like your parents did you wrong and taught you wrong. What? Most of the people responding like that don't have children guaranteed and if they do have kids then they're willing to say like well you know i understand yeah i wouldn't want my kids to think that way but at the same time like the truest part of this whole thing is the bottom and he could have just tweeted that there's always something to learn and there's always room for improvement never settle but i'm not judging ninja and i'm gonna tell you guys that straight out i'm not judging ninja because i know that there's context with this and it probably made sense when he said it when he said that statement right there There's probably some context for it. Um, You know, people pull out like LeBron James and the NBA and stuff like that. You're not you're not lining up who's reading this tweet and what they're taking from it with those people. You know, what I'm saying when 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 you stop getting angry after losing, you've lost twice. Sure. Maybe competitively, maybe when you're in an esports competition. But with the mental health issue, the mental health is the greatest issue facing our planet right now. It's the greatest threat to humanity is mental health and, and mental instability and people's inability to deal with depression and anxiety. Like these things that really existed years ago but didn't cause the type of devastation and didn't cause the type of raging on Twitter. Like people are raging at this tweet. Like the raging on Twitter and the raging on social media and then the real life uh, outcomes of it. You know, marriages can't stay together. Relationships can't stay together. People can't deal with each other. Everybody wants to deal with people virtually but not physically and in person. Like what's happening in our world and the wars and the fights and all this kind of stuff and terrorists and terrorism and Everything is really revolving around mental instability. And in a world like ours, anger is very dangerous. It just is. Anger is very dangerous. And we have to be careful how we speak about anger. In the same way that I didn't recognize and think about the fact that all these youth, that I had youth pastors and all these kids and all these other pastors and all these old people and all, like, you know, there's a whole bunch of church members watching me rage on the basketball court i didn't think about that i didn't think about the example i was setting for them and unfortunately for ninja he's always setting an example this dude's selling books and shoes and all this kind of stuff he's he (laughs) trying to get a crowd of people to (laughs) unsuccessfully floss at new year's eve like he is a he is a gaming icon right now and whether he asked for it or not he's got it that's who he is and so Unfortunately, this tweet has ruffled a lot of feathers, man. And I hope you guys are recognizing that my feathers aren't ruffled. I'm not I'm I'm in no way, shape, or form. I don't think anything different of Ninja. I'm not saying I can't how dare he, how dare this young man. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying he's a competitor. He's talking about competitive. Leave it alone. But everybody takes things out of context these days, man. People just go crazy. And it's not just the people that And the point I'm trying to make is it's not just the people that are responding and disagreeing with Ninja. They're actually kind of cordial in their response. It's the people that are used to getting angry and need permission that are responding like in anger. And they're calling people soft and saying, I just can't believe how could anybody ever respond this way? How could you ever think that anger isn't acceptable? What's wrong with you, you wussy? You know, it's like, come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Like, for real. Like, I got three sons. I'm going to teach them the bottom of this tweet. I'm not going to teach them the rest. That's why they're not on Twitter, and I am. (laughs) And to those of you guys that are saying, like, well, most of Ninja's audience aren't going to understand, you know, because they're 9-year-olds and 12-year-olds. No, this is Twitter. Most of the people that are responding that this doesn't make sense are parents. They're older people. They're like my generation. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not going to be a whole bunch of 9- and 12-year-olds responding like, Ninja, I can't believe you would say that. That is just unacceptable, and I'm unfollowing you. They're probably like, yeah, rage. (laughs) And, you know, unfortunately, like, if I'm Ninja, I wouldn't respond to any of it because he's trying to defend himself and say, like, well, you you made it sound like you think I'm raging and all this kind of stuff. Well, I mean, 
You're saying that this, this sentence, when you stop getting angry after losing, you've lost twice. How? Explain that to me. How have I lost twice if I don't get angry? I've lost twice if I don't get better after losing. That's when I've lost twice. And it's just a game is not a weak mindset. It's a phrase. You said it. The phrase, it's just a game, is such a weak mindset. It's just a game is not a mindset. It's sometimes a way of dealing with anger. When you know, man, I'm about to get angry. I mean, okay, you know what? It's just a game. It's just a game. I need to move on, play the next one. Sometimes you actually have to say that. Sometimes you, 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 sometimes you have to pick your battles. And you, you can sometimes win the war by doing that, by picking your battles. You know, sometimes you're going to have teammates and you're going to have to be like, you know what? I'm not going to fight this one today, but I'm going to fight this one. You know, I'm going to fight this one in the future. So, I, I I mean, I'm sure you guys have already talked in the comments about this, but you can go in the comments. This is, you can see it's got 18,000 retweets, 128,000 likes, and it is, it, it's very divided. It's, tw it's all over Twitter, and I've got friends on one side and friends on the other, and it's just interesting for me to watch. So I decided, well, why not make a video about it and see what YouTube thinks. Nevertheless, this is your boy Kingdom. I'll see you guys in the next video.